Hi Virgo, this is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and we're going to see what's going on for you guys in love. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd love for you to join my channel. I do have a Labor Day sale going on. Um, Everything is 10% off on my Etsy shop for my personal readings, my email tarot readings, my tarot oracle decks, and my spiritual jewelry. It is till um, Tuesday after Labor Day. So take advantage of the special sale going on. And your bonus extended reading is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel, Virgo? Whoever you're thinking about dealing with, okay? And um, it looks at their energy. And I also have some unspoken love messages from your person. So check that out. The link will be in the description box, okay, to the extended. All right, let's jump right in, Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <laughs> um, stick around to the end. I have the Ask the Universe cards I'm going to pick for you guys, okay? Think of three yes or no questions, just three, all right? And I'll answer at the very end. We'll let the universe answer it, okay? <laughs> all right. Two swords came out. So there is a decision that you guys are having to make, okay? Let's see what this decision is all about. But there's a head of a heart decision. Um, you guys are at a stalemate. I'm getting you stuck on making the decision. It's not an easy one. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse and a Five of Cups. There's something about making a decision regarding um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And a lot of you guys is telling me that this decision could be very difficult because, well, first, you're very emotionally invested in this situation. You're very, um, you know, you're, you're definitely in your feelings for this person. And there's something here about feeling like something here could have been a different way. It could have happened a different way. Um, maybe you felt like this person did something and you wish that you know, it was just different. There's something, some kind of regrets or sorrow, disappointment here. This could be your person's energy. They may regret something that they've done. Um, but I'm also seeing there's a lack of clarity and truth here. Some of you guys I'm getting, there's something this person may have done that you don't know why, okay? Um, you don't know why this happened or um, what really happened. Maybe they told you something differently, okay? And I'm getting, that's why it's making this decision very difficult for you because you're trying to move forward and make this decision and not be in a stillmate energy. But there's something here where you're lacking clarity clarity about and there's a lot of disappointment i'm getting both of you are very much um in your emotions right now the recent past we have the two of wands in reverse we have the page of wands in reverse and we have the tower wow so the tower could be something here um that really brought forth a lot of change in the connection okay I'm, i do feel that this tower was necessary because i feel at one point someone was very indecisive about you virgo i'm getting this is someone who didn't really know what they wanted and things were very um you were very uns unsure uncertain as to where this was going to go the direction of which this connection was moving i'm also getting with the page of wands it could be a leo sag area someone was, was fooling around i'm just getting um they weren't really taking real action towards you, right? There could have been a lot of communication going back and forth, but that's it. And I'm getting this tower really shook things up, but this was very much necessary. We're going to find out more about what that tower is. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Now, Virgo, on your mind and how you're seen by this person is the death in reverse, the emperor in reverse, and the eight of wands in reverse. A lot of you guys, you stop communicating with this person. There's something here about no longer waiting for this person to communicate. I'm getting that you are now, um, you know, now you're now moving in a different direction. There's something here about this person not taking the right action towards you. I'm getting something just got out of control and you couldn't do anything about it. And I'm getting a lot of you guys, Virgo, you decided to just let something go. You decided to not expect nothing from this person. But at the same time, I do feel like you guys are holding on to this, this connection because we have the two swords. A lot of you guys are trying to make a decision once and for all if you're really truly going to let this go or if you're really going to continue to contribute to it in some way. With the death and verse, I feel a lot of you guys on your mind is wanting a new beginning or a resurrection of something here that happen or the way um you know of something that died okay there's something here that may have ended between you and this person but it's almost like did it really die you know there's the energy of something not being entirely done here and maybe coming back um i'm getting like a blast in the past and maybe something here that may be revisited but i also feel like virgo this is something that you are not willing to initiate okay i'm getting you're not really willing to open up the lines to communicate with this person at this time I'm getting it's because it's like a lost cause. I'm getting a lost cause here. Now, your person's energy, Virgo, we have the devil in reverse. We have the ace of wands. We have the three of cups. 
the world, and the two of cups in reverse. So what I'm seeing, Virgo, is there's definitely someone here who um, may be trying to break free and let go of something here that maybe got may have gotten in the way of this connection. Could be something toxic or codependent. Could be a negative um, way of thinking. But I feel like whatever this was, there's something here that your person is letting go in order to have this new beginning with you. This person on their mind is wanting a reunion, three of cups, let's celebrate, let's come back together. This is someone who has not entirely moved on and they are thinking about what it would take in order for them to come back in your life, right? How could they come back in your life? With the world here in the Ace of Wands, this is someone who's definitely inspired to have this New beginning with you after some kind of falling out here with the two of cups in reverse okay so let's see um what the what the outcome okay what the likely outcome is for you and this person virgo we have the ten of pentacles we have the three of swords in reverse we have the seven of pentacles and the nine of wands now what i'm feeling very strongly is that Virgo, I, I do feel like you guys are overcoming something here that very much hurt you. But there's also a challenge for you guys. Some of you guys, the challenge is to let go of something here that isn't working for you anymore, right? The Nine of Wands of Earth is freeing yourself, letting go of something that is not... Um, not, that may be working against you. I'm getting some of you guys, it could be the hurt, the pain, the trauma that you've gone through in the past. Because what I'm seeing is that there's something here that you're going to be investing in. The seven of pentacles is something here that you're going to be putting your time, your energy, your, your effort into, into growing. And when you do that, it looks like it'll be very successful and very abundant for you. There's a new opportunity. I'm getting there's something here that you may be rebuilding or just by by really putting in more time and energy. It's allowing something to um, re be rebuilt on a more solid structure. I don't get it necessarily it's a new person. I'm getting this is the um, an old energy be because there's no, there's no ace here other than the ace of wands. I'm getting this is a... Uh, a creative spark here that your person wants to come up with a plan of action on how to come back in your life. But in terms of you guys, I don't think you never, you ever fully really let go of this person because we had the death reverse, right? You always had an idea that maybe this person would come back. And I feel a lot of you guys, you may have to let go of some kind of hurt some kind of trauma here that you experience with the Three of Swords in order for something to be rebuilt, okay? In order for something to grow and um, get to the Ten of Pentacles. So we're going to see how this all plays out. If this is your reading, Virgo, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I want to find out more about this Two of Swords, right? There's, a, there's something here where you're making a decision ahead of a hard decision about. And tell me more about this Two of Swords, what is this Two of Swords that Virgo is trying to make a decision about? We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Page of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords. A lot of you guys are trying to make a decision. Um, there's something here regarding a conflict with someone that caused a lot of burdens that may have even caused like an ending here. I'm getting that it's bringing a lot of, um, you know, drama. I'm getting it just, it was just too much. There's something here that you feel really defeated by. But a lot of you guys are making a decision after not knowing what's really going on. The Page of Swords in reverse. A lot of you guys, it's telling me you may not be able to communicate to your person right now or there may be a lack of truth, okay? Okay, or understanding as to where you guys stand, okay? And I'm also seeing the Five of Cups. So tell me more about the Five of Cups. This is someone who may have some regrets about how they treated you, how they performed in the past. Why is the Five of Cups? There's a lot of thinking about a past situation. The Temperance in Reverse, the Moon in Reverse, and the Death in Reverse. We got strong Sagittarian energy, Piscean energy, and Scorpion energy. What I'm seeing is that someone definitely regrets how something ended because I'm getting that this person had some secrets, okay? There was definitely something they were not completely honest about. And I'm almost seeing that a lot of you guys, you've been overly patient with this person and, you know, they didn't appreciate you. And there's something that may have certainly ended, but I don't think this person really wanted it to go that way. And it's telling me they have a lot of regrets as to, um, you know, how they handled it and not being more honest with you um, and, and not really pushing for this um, new beginning. There's something here about this person also not really wanting to close this chapter and cycle with you. And so there's a lot of regrets and remorse about a situation that uh, the way it ended, okay? Because I'm getting it was their own doing. It was their secrets. It was their... Um, there's something here that they were holding back. Now, tell me more about the tower. In the recent past, is the tower moment. The judgment in reverse, the two of cups, and the six of cups in reverse. 
So in the recent past, there was definitely a tower moment that um, you and this person went through, okay? A very strong connection. I'm getting you guys were at your all-time high. Things are really going good. And all of a sudden, there's someone here that may have made a bad decision, okay? There was a bad decision made about this union. And it really caused um, you guys to go down different paths. And I'm getting that there's something here that this person's now thinking about. There's a lot of memories of the past and they're thinking constantly about you. The Six of Cups is here. This is definitely someone here that I'm getting. You've been having... Um, Maybe you guys have been on and off for some time. There's something about this person reappearing in your life and then disappearing here because the Page of Wands came out in the verse. So this is someone who definitely has some games or they're just very indecisive here with the Two of Wands. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Some kind of decision that was made in the past with the judgment in the verse and the Two of Wands. The devil. Some of you guys, there was there was something very toxic here. And I think I'm getting your person was dealing with something toxic that made them invest in the wrong situation or the wrong person. It could be a Capricorn here. And I'm getting that they chose someone else over you, Virgo. There's something else that they chose over this connection. And it was the wrong decision. Okay. And it's regarding um how they spent their time, their energy, their efforts. And yeah, I'm getting that that's what really sabotage this connection. Now, I want to find out more about the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's something here that you're not really, you're not really um, putting effort into, into maybe communicating with this person at this time. I'm getting you guys are pulling back. We have the Wheel in reverse. We have the Emperor in reverse and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of you guys, you just feel, again, there's a lost cause. Like, there's no sense in me reaching out to this person because they, they have a mind of their own. They're going to ultimately do whatever they want, right? The Emperor in reverse, some of you guys, you consider this person like a narcissist or this is someone who's very much, um, they like to be in control of things, but then they make decisions that are best for them and not for all parties involved. And a lot of you guys, you just don't agree with a lot of this person, the way they view things, their viewpoints, their beliefs. And there's something about you just not trying to get on the, pay, the same page with them anymore. It's just a lost cause. So tell me more about the death in reverse. A lot of you guys, you still want perhaps another beginning with this person. Tell me more about the death card. The eight of cups, the ten of cups in reverse, and the sun. A lot of you guys is telling me that you may have decided to walk away from this person because you realized that they weren't going to make you happy at that time. But at the same time, I'm getting that you, you are still have this idea that maybe this person will eventually get their self together, that there'll be some healing that will take place between you and this individual. And I'm getting that you walked away because you knew at the time this person couldn't be the person you needed them to be, but you had expectations that maybe one day they still would. So I'm getting that a lot of you guys, you may not expect this person to come back right away, but it's like one day I know they'll get themselves together, they'll be a better person, and they'll be able to come back and make me happy, you know? There'll be some kind of enlightenment or wake-up call within this person. And so that's what you guys are thinking. I'm getting, it's on, it's on the back of your mind that one day, one day they'll get it all together, right? It could be a Scorpio or a Leo here. Let's see, let's tell you more about the Ace of Wands. It's definitely a new beginning that wants to happen between you and your person. They are thinking about a reunion, but they also are um, knowing that they have to release themselves from something here. Um, let me find about this devil. What is this devil? What are they having to let go of? King of Pentacles came out in the verse with the Queen of Wands in verse. Some of you guys are having to let go of this third party. There's some kind of situation here, someone that maybe they were invested in. Maybe this is someone that I'm getting that they were not able to make you a priority in their life because there was someone else that they've been in and out with, okay? Or they could have been a passionate connection outside of you. Could have been with the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, or Capricorn. But there is an idea of wanting a new beginning. Queen of Swords in reverse. The Strength card and the Magician. A lot of you guys, there's someone here, it could be a Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your person's energy. They're, they're kind of, they're not telling you this. There's something that they're very much withholding from you. They don't want to tell you about the idea that they want this new beginning. Okay, they're definitely holding on to the idea that, you know, um, they will eventually come towards you and make this big, bold move, be courageous, and manifest this. I'm getting your person is silently manifesting this new beginning with you, but it's almost like they don't want to tell you. They're, they're, they're acting very, um, <laughs> I'm getting standoffish maybe right now, okay? They're acting like, you know, they're, they're trying to be that, that strong person, not show that they're bothered or affected by this um, breakup but I do see behind the scenes with the world card and the magician that they're they're trying to manifest this they're trying to bring this back together um tell me more about the two of cups here why is the two of cups here in reverse for this person 
Ten of Pentacles in verse, the Nine of Pentacles in verse with the world in verse. A lot of you guys just tell me that they may feel like it just was the, the wrong timing, okay? Because this is someone who still wants a companionship or relationship with you, but they may feel like that at this time they can't fully commit to you. It's too much responsibility. They can't do it. They're not good enough. They're not in the right place or state of mind. And there's something here about timing with the world in verse. They may feel something here is out of their control. They're not able to do it. But I feel like this is someone who still very much cares for you and they know that you're their person. They know that there could be stability, but they're not able to give it to you at this moment. Coming in the future, what you can expect, let's see. There's something that you're having to let go of and it's related to the hurt and pain that you're experiencing right now, Virgo, with this person or with regard to a past situation. We have the Six of Wands in verse, the Five of Pentacles in verse with the Eight of Wands. A lot of you guys, Spirit is telling you, Virgo, that you have to let go of this pain, the hurt that you're feeling because it's it's only going to hold you back, right? The Six of Wands in verse, is, you're never going to be able to um, get to this place of feeling like you've like you're in you know, a victory, I'm getting like, you're not going to be able to be successful or in finding love if you're constantly holding on to something that didn't go well, okay? There's the energy of you feeling in this place of lack without this person in your life here with the five of pentacles or as if you need them in your life in order to... um be successful in order to move forward, okay? There's something about you putting your life on hold. And Spirit is saying you have to let that go. You have to let go of that mindset that you're not complete without this person. Um, and that's part of your healing process. A lot of you guys are being challenged to let go of something and live your best life, move forward, eight of wands, um, be willing to accept change in your life. And as an earth sign, Virgo, sometimes change, you don't like change. Sometimes you you run away from change. But Spirit is saying you have to be willing to change and you have to have to, have to actually I'm sorry, you actually have to heal okay whatever this three of swords is whatever you're experiencing you are making progress but there's something about you continuing to heal and letting that go and um move move forward move forward with the eight of wands move forward we do have the seven of pentacles coming out with the ten of pentacles tell me more about this it's something that you may be investing in virgo Okay, we have the King of Swords in reverse. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Page of Cups in reverse. A lot of you guys just tell me that there's something here. There's someone here who may still want to invest in you, but I'm also getting that this is something that you should not be waiting for necessarily, okay? I'm getting that right now, Virgo. What you're going to be doing is investing yourself Okay, investing in yourself, whether it be your stability, your um, your home, your your money, because I feel like eventually, yeah, this person, whoever this is, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're thinking about apologizing. This is in the energy. They're thinking about coming back for a new beginning. But I also feel like this is someone who's unwilling to speak their truth right now. And a lot of you guys, what's holding back this new beginning is the fact that they don't want to be honest about their feelings for you. So in the meantime, Virgo, your challenge is to just move forward and do what's best for you commit to yourself right ten of pentacles build your empire build your business build your money whatever that is okay however you make money go ahead and throw yourself into it so virgo that's what i have for you guys i hope that resonated for you the extended bonus reading how does your person feel is on vimeo okay check it out how do they feel what's going on behind the scenes what are they not saying all that now i'm going to pick a few cards from the axe the universe deck this is 10 percent off as part of my labor day sales take advantage it's on my etsy shop okay all right virgo what's your first question you want to ask the universe yes or no questions only Look to your ancestors for answers, okay? So there's something about you looking to your ancestors for answers. It could be family, okay? It could be your spirit guides, okay? Um, let's see. What other questions do you have, Virgo? Get out of your head, okay? So some of you guys were stuck in your head about something, okay? I'm getting that sword energy, mental conflict, thinking over and over and over about a situation, but it says get out of your head. Your third question, Virgo, your intuition is strong. Use it. So some of you guys, you already know the answer because Spirit is saying use your intuition, okay? You have that gut feeling that something just isn't right for you. Is You know, there's something here that's, that you already have the message. You already know intuitively what you need to do and what that answer is. It says use your intuition, all right? So Virgo, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I wish you the best. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, take care.